And we're back. Okay, so did some experimenting. Actually, I. Yeah. So I, I went with the uh, independent variable of the distance from the hinge, you know, from here to here. This particular window, one of the worst ones, the ones that was, was a, really had no sticking power, the hinge was right here. So what I did is I did my little modified Newton test with the bungee cord. And I came up with 13 and three quarters, meaning that this pulled an inch and three quarters before that gave way. I did it like five or six times to make sure that was right. So then I did it again. Actually, I moved it. Now notice I, I used the exact same hinge. I mean the same, what's it called? Latch, magnet, there we go. Used the same magnet, double magnet. It's facing the same way. And I just reattached the exact same plate and just moved it this way. And I took this measurement and it's coming up as 15 and a half, which would be a difference of three, three and a half. So I pulled this and it goes three and a half inches before it gives way. This went only an inch and three quarters. So it was double the amount, if that makes sense. So if I was really doing this science wise, I would need to cover a lot of other variables, wouldn't I? Because one thing is that this is showing you know 15 inches and that one over there was like 18 so there's still some other things at play there's still something else going on this is definitely one of the factors now this is one factor that i can change and for the whole rest of these windows i can move it closer to here but some of the other things maybe it might be the quality of the magnet who knows and one last thing uh, about this whole using science thing is that um you know, we use this stuff every day. Uh, you make guesses as to why something happens the way it is, and you and you adjust and you try different things. You just don't write it down and, and make it all fancy, you know, like science. But we use this. It's a process of observation, and you have a guess as to why it's happening, and then you change something, and then you see if that was it or not. Um, but the one thing that's difficult in this situation is to determine bias, and that's an important thing in science is that I am going to be biased in this whole thing. Obviously, I want this thing to stick. And I have predetermined belief that, well, the size of the magnet certainly is going to affect it. Uh, and, you know, some other things like, you know, where this plate is. And, and I might want something to work, you know, versus something else. So in order to eliminate bias, what would I need to do, right? I'd have to, like, give it all to somebody else and have them figure it out and then lots of other people figure it out and then in time you have a lot of data a lot of these numbers that i'm taking this that three inches of difference and stuff and you can graph that and take a look at well what factors change that number the most and that's how you come up with you know solutions up so anyway the sun is back out and i have a lot to do uh, before i'm done and I should be in Colorado here in a couple weeks, two or three. And I'm sure it's balmy and wet there too. Check it out, man. I got this door here. <laughs> this is where this, this is gonna be the zip line door, but I have to build that next summer. Open the door, reet, climb up on the platform, and then psh, right over the swamp. Or you can drop into the swamp if you want. Crazy, right? All right, so much to do. Thank you so much. So till next time, bye bye.